One of southern Wisconsin's largest health systems is requiring staff to get vaccinated against COVID-19. The move from UW Health follows several other hospitals across the state, including Fredert and the Medical College of Wisconsin, Advocate Aurora Health, Children's Wisconsin, Marshfield Clinic, Ascension Health, and SSM Health. UW says with the Delta variant spreading, it's important for these health systems to protect their patients. This is something that we need to do as a healthcare community uh, to show that we care about our patients, we care about our staff, and we're going to do everything we can to bring this pandemic to an end. Staff at UW Health will have to be fully vaccinated by November 1st. The congressman who represents the northern part of our viewing area says he does not agree with requiring health care workers to get the vaccine. New at 6, he tells Capitol Bureau Chief A.J. Bayapur why he feels that way following a town hall event today. I'll talk to the state of Wisconsin. The spread of the Delta variant affects Congressman Glenn Grothman's town hall in Green Lake from the beginning Wednesday. It was moved outdoors. One of the speakers is Dr. Ray Georgian, a surgeon from Nina, who defends vaccine mandates for health care workers, a policy with which many in the crowd disagree. Wrong. Wrong. It's not a political issue. It's a science health care issue. And if we need to protect the citizens of our state or for that matter, the country. And right now, Vaccines is where it's at. Representative Grothman says he opposes health care providers making their staff get vaccinated, saying he's heard complaints directly from medical workers. I think particularly as this uh, vaccine is still experimental, um, I don't like the idea of forcing people to keep their job to uh, do something they are opposed to. It's a stance that resonates with many in the crowd. They reject vaccine mandates from both government and employers. Georgian believes it's more than an individual rights issue. When your freedom affects others, then there's, there raises the question. If you're drunk driving, are you affecting other people's safety? I would say yes. Afterward, we asked for Grothman's personal stance on the vaccine. I think there is unquestionable, particularly older people, uh, benefits to the vaccine. But I am, I am not going to play doctor to everybody in Dane County tonight. So, uh, you know, we voted for the vaccine. We put billions of dollars into it and uh, we certainly turned it around quicker than anybody thought. Are you vaccinated, Congressman? Um, I, I don't like to get into taking sides on it, okay? So that's... With that, the interview is over. In Green Lake, A.J. Bayatpour, 27 News.